Right, Joe Cordine, uh, well, Kakachi versus Cordine. The reason why I say that, and Anthony Kakachi, Kakachi, um, I flipped it around because Kakachi's first, okay? So it is Cordina against Kakachi, but you know what I mean. Right, Kakachi. Uh, I have made a pr prediction video on this, um, and I might be making another one if Yuri pulls out, all right? Because obviously I've done some prediction videos uh, back in December or January coming up, leading up to the fight, and then uh, Fury gets a magical elbow and uh, it all goes wrong. So now I'm coming back to it with a different kind of light. Um, I, I originally said um, that Cordina's got this, and I probably still am saying the same. Um, but Kakachi, so let's talk about Kakachi quickly. He's 21 and 1, so he's lost one fight. Um, the biggest, I mean, Kakachi straight away, if you watch him, his style's just, I love his style. I love hands down style. It's not exactly hands down style, um, but it's, he's a switch hitter. He, he's constantly switching. Um, he's got great head movement. He's got he, he, he's best fighting backwards. Um, he really excels fighting backwards. Quite often, we'll wait for you to come in, take advantage. Um, he's just a brilliant mover. He's a brilliant mover. He's a Northern, Ili uh, Northern Irish. Um, so, <clears throat> he's a brilliant mover. And that's kind of his style. Um, what What is his best punch, so to speak? All of them. Um, I mean, look at his movement. So, I suppose, yeah, I mean, he's not... I wouldn't say he's a knockout artist, but what he does possess is the unorthodox uh, territory. You know, that unorthodox style will create knockouts just because it puts your opponent off. It frustrates your opponent. Your fr your opponent starts doing stupid things, leaving himself open. Um, that was a good right from his opponent then. I believe that connected. Um, but yeah, Kakachi. Um his style, his defense is not really, his defense is footwork. Uh, he's one of those kind of fighters. His defense, I mean, you can see his hands are not really up at the minute. Um, he obviously come in with his shoulder then. I think his defense is based on his footwork. He's a very defensive fighter, but only due to his head movement of footwork, not so much guarding. I think that's fairly relevant to Joe Cordina because of Cordina's speed. But Cordina's coming up. They're super featherweights, okay? Um, the biggest issue I've got with the Apache Kakachi uh, is he's 35, okay? And we're just going to go through... His last few fights, because this is where the issue really lies. Okay, so 2019, he had two fights. 2021, he had one. 2022, he had one. 2023, he had one. And it's probably going to be one in 2024. So you would have to argue that there's a he's not really active enough. Um, so if he'd done one in 2019, so one in 2021. So since he was 30 years old, he's only had one fight a year. Kind of missing your your real your real prime your real time, which is a shame. I don't know why. I don't know whether he got injuries or anything. Um, but there you go. Okay, so oh yeah, and the last thing I'll say is he is listed as a southpaw, as you can see there. He's orthodox. Um, he's listed as a southpaw on box record, which is um, they've just kind of made that assumption. He isn't a south. Well. He kind of is. He's a bit of everything. So, yeah, if you're wondering. So, he holds the IBO, okay? Then we got Cordina. 17-0 um, and 0 Cordina is. Um, how old is he? Uh, I was just about to say 17. Um, <laughs> he's got 17 bouts. Um, age 32. He's from the United Kingdom. Um, I just want to talk about their reach quickly. 175 reach for... Um, Cordina, and it should be longer. Oh, it doesn't say, um, which is really annoying. Five foot ten for Kakachi, and five foot nine for uh, Cordina. So you would say that Kakachi's got a longer reach. I mean, his arms are very elasticated. He's very throws those punches from all over the place. And I said in my previous video that he, people distant gauge him wrong because they feel like he's out of range when actually he probably is in range. Cordina is um, what I would call an aggressive counter-puncher. He's, he's, I wouldn't say so much forward-forward, but, I mean, he's he's in your box. He's He likes being in your box. He likes being in the centre of the ring. When Kodina gets against the ropes, and this was the point I made, um, what I like about Kodina, when he gets in against the ropes, he, um, he, he's, he will fight coming off of them uh, convincingly. 
He won't just stand there and take it. He's got, you know, he's got the head movement. He's got all the all, all the tools in the box. Cordina's really a boxer at heart. He's he's got everything that you need to be a pure boxer. Um, he's yeah, he's just. But when you get him against the ropes, he will fight coming off. He will, and uh, I believe that's when Kakachi is going to think that he's probably got Cordina. Um, don't get me wrong, Kakachi's obviously not. Um, not unwise to what Kadena can do. That's, you know, to make that assumption silly, uh, Kakachi's not stupid. He knows what's coming. But I just get the feeling that possibly that could be a a good part, I mean, for, for Kadena to, to land possibly a knockout punch. Realistically, this is whether... I suppose this fight boils down to whether um, Kakachi can use his movement, his defence, his defensive movement against Cordina's speed. Um, and I think that's probably where the crux of the fight's going to happen. You're going to either see Cordina throwing um, into nothing, which I just can't see it, um, and K K uh, Kakachi moving all over the place and dodging everything. Um, but I can't see that happening. Um, I do think Cordina's speed will probably win him the fight. Um, if it, the thing is, I don't want to write Kakachi off. Also, another point to note is that they both had like three months training camp. Um, so Kadena's only had 17 fights, um, I believe. Yeah, Kadena's only had 17, whereas Kakachi has had uh, 22. So he's got a little bit more experience. And uh, an interviewer said, you know, you've been here before. You've had fights delayed before. Does that help you? And he said, yeah, I think it does. I think I've been there before. So Kakachi um, probably might have the upper hand a little bit because of the waiting around. Well, he certainly does because he's only been fighting once a year. Um, but mind you, how many times has Cordina fought in the last five years? Um, right, we got... Two, we got, that's what I mean, we got two in 2023, one in 2022, and then three in 2021, and then three in 2019, or oh, 20, 2019, yeah, oh, he had a year off, oh, I think that was an injury, he had a year off, but yeah, um, so, I don't know, Kadena's certainly more active, um, it, I suppose we've got to see how Kakachi is on the night. They're both going to be fit as a fiddle, because they've both been training for a long time, um, if I was to say there was a knockout, I probably would say Cordina in the later rounds. But Kakachi so unorthodox that we could clearly see something. Um, we could clearly see that Cordina just gets puzzled. I don't think that's going to happen, but we could see it. You know, we could quite easily see uh, Cordina starting to get frustrated, puzzled, not really knowing what to do. Because Kakachi's just all over the place. Um, you've got to keep your wits about you. Not so much your wits about you. I think you've got to keep your, your stress down from getting angry at him. If you miss a few shots and it becomes a little bit frustrating, you don't want to start fighting like that. I mean, a frustrated fighter just fights bad. We all know that. Um, it, every now and then it might work. But generally talking, you want to be calm. You want to be... Um, you know, uh, efficient and and thinking cr uh, thinking clearly. You don't want to be getting frustrated with your opponent, and K K Kakachi can certainly bring that. So yeah, um, I probably will say Cordina in later rounds. If it goes to decision, it'll definitely be Cordina, um, just because of the volume of punches. Um, I, I suppose if there's going to be an, a very early knockout, it could be Kakachi. Um, just based on sheer catching him out of nowhere um, if Kadena's not warm. There you go. Have a good one.